Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich and welcome back to Let's Play a Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity. Alright. Uh we have some gems. This is actually uh N Sanity Island part two. So, uh remember when I said we can only get like three gems? Because uh there'd be but gems in other parts. Well there's two gems in this part, and then there's one gem in part three. So Anywho, come on. Ugh, I hate chickens. I really do. I grew up on a factory chicken farm, and like, my dad at night, like if I was all wound up and like couldn't go to sleep, would send me out to the barn, like at five or six, to like catch chickens. Like chickens that had gotten loose and were running around the farm, so you'd have to sneak up with them with a flashlight and stuff, and like the minute you grabbed them, like you'd hold them by their legs and they'd start flapping and trying to peck you, and like, I mean I wasn't afraid of them, it was just like, they were, they got to be really obnoxious, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I know it's not the chicken's fault, but, like, when you grow up around something your whole life, like... I still eat chicken, too, but, like, not very often. But there's a whole different story behind that. Okay, so that was one of the two gems, and, uh, hopefully this one will be largely automatic. Bam! Bam! Oh, that was awesome! Alright, and the reason there's a dock here and a checkpoint is there will be a boat there eventually. That, like, a boat that takes us back here. So, might as well hit the checkpoint, I suppose. So, anyway. So, hooray! That was the thing that we had to do here. So, now we just gotta find our way out. Uh, uh, maybe there's, like, extra guys or something. I don't know. I didn't... Well, there's a wormhole there. I wonder if that's part of when we come back here or something. I'm not sure. I think this has to be, like, where we came down, right? I don't know. I didn't do this in, like, my my first file. I didn't bother to try to get the gems. See, we can have, you can see we have five gems out of twin and say the island now. And I've done some investigation, and there are, um, as it stands right now, um, it, up to my knowledge, there are two other overworlds like this. So, wait, we don't have to go that way, do we? No, apparently not. It just dropped us back on the ramp we came up. Alright, well this is the right way. I guess we go in the cave. Whatever. Caves are good. Caves give us a bunch of crap. You know, where else would we get a bunch of extra lives if not for these caves? Actually, we're doing great for lives. I mean, I can't complain about that. That's what a second playthrough does for you. My first playthrough, like, every boss I had to continue. Jeez, that was a jump. I didn't think we were going to make that. Alright. Onward. Careful with the TNT. I guess this is better than actually having to, you know, avoid the nitro stuff, like, um, there will be motion levels later where we have to avoid nitro. Okay, here we go. What have we got? You have to help me, Crash. You heard them. They want to destroy our island home, humiliate and enslave you, and steal my brain. How I envy the simple life of the tribe's folk. What have we got? Living in harmony with Mother Nature, the noble boar, the humble bumblebee. So anyway, so now a crash is covered with bumblebees. Um, well, yeah, and uh, actually, I, never mind. Uh, and so we have to clear a path for him and get all these things that are in his way out of his way, which involves like standing on this thing until he gets underneath. And if you notice, the music in the background is Flight of the Bumblebee, which is, uh, I guess funny. It's a funny version of it, like... Alright, and there's one of our gems, so... And when you hit those walls of spikes, you have to wait for Cortex to hit the pad that drops them down, so... 
And the easiest mistake to make in this is... Ah, oh, jeez. Poor Cortex, will you never win? Um, the problem that I came across most often the first time going through this is don't step off of the thing that's holding that thing up until Cortex is done going underneath. Because you drop it on him or before he gets there. And, um, and these things, if you jump on them, these spike cylinders, they'll pound themselves down, essentially. Alright. We're lucky somebody built this elaborate platform with all these traps that allow us to clear a path for a guy with a beehive on his head. Because if somebody hadn't done that, Cortex would... There'd just be no way to save him. Sorry. Video game logic. Alright. There's only two gems on this path, so there's the second one. They put them both uh, in places where you have to wait for them to drop the spike wall, so... Well, okay, if there's honey there, they can't be bumblebees. They have to be honeybees. Uh, again, video game logic. Look at that, it looks like a guy in a bear suit chasing him, not an actual bear. An actual bear would be on four legs, right? Like... Yeah, I mean, like, nitro crates leading up to that... Oh, you got a double jump for this one. Uh, nitro crates leading up to that that plant. I mean, how lucky are we? Whew! Alright. And there we go. Once Cortex makes it through, that's it. <laughs> How'd they get across so quick? Alright, Cortex is gone. The natives got him. It's like Heart of Darkness up in here. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god! That's okay. What was, I don't remember what my other really, really crazy reference was that, like I said, was just, like, the dopiest reference that would ever be made in an LP, but, like, that Heart of Darkness one was pretty bad, too. Just, like, snotty literature made your references, and, like, I haven't been in a literature class for a decade. And I didn't even major in that, like, switch my major to anthropology. Okay, this is a pain in the ass. Alright, so the way this works is when this guy's looking at you through his binoculars, if he sees you, he'll call down, like, snipers to shoot you full of spears. So you wait till he's done looking, and then you can move to, like, the next thing and crouch down. Which is a problem, because if you're moving and you hit the crouch button, you'll slide into the water. Okay. Hmm? Alright. I like how disappointed he sounds every time he does his teeth with the too. Alright. Oh, come on! Alright, well, we'll start that over. Oh, no, we won't, because there's... I, the good thing is, is once you get past one of them, there's usually a checkpoint underneath them. So you don't have to do the same thing over and over. This one's up. This one's painful. Because we have to get to the TNT and then get back over here. All right, we did a really good job there, actually. I am so impressed with us. All right. And then getting across here can be a real problem, too. All right, we got him. Oh, we got a duck in the boat now. All right. Although he could obviously see us at the boat. I mean, the boat's, like, wide open and stuff. All right. I'm not taking any chances with this doofus. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Okay, okay. Oh no! See, well those those spears would have hit me if I hadn't already been killed by the boars. Alright. Man, those are noisy boars. Ah, uh, all right. We're gonna we're gonna do this the way we're supposed to do it. I've made it across here in one shot. Okay, so kill this boar and duck. There you jerk. Get happy. You made us follow the rules. I hate him so much for that. I'll take the loss of Aku Aku for. 
And we don't have to kill all three of these, we just gotta get past them. Okay. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Okay. Alright. These guys are a little obnoxious. Once you get the hang of them, though, it's just kinda... generally stay out of their way and, uh... You know, spit them once they die, which is nice. Although, sometimes there's spear sticks around and you can get caught up on it and stuff. Not that it hurts you, but like it'll affect the way you move. Like, stop you from jumping and stuff. It's weird. So we have to skip one of these rocks into this thing to get, uh... to get a gem, so... Oh, come on. We can do this. Yay! Oh, no, we missed Holy life. And then it'll respawn rocks, which is alright. I don't care. It's like... Oh, come on. At least hit the seagull. There we go! Awesome! Oh, well, it's nice to know that we can get to the second one. Oh, I'm gonna... Alright, well, we'll be doing a take two on that one. Die, guy who's different than me. Whoa, did we set off the the trap with a rock or with a native? I can't even tell. Ow, oh, that was sad. We could do this. We did it once before. If we've done it. We did it once. We could do it again. That's the video. That's a video game law. If you've done it once, you can do it again. Oh, come on! That was right there! Right there! I couldn't get a lucky bounce on that. I'm showing this video game to the world, I'll have you know. Should be a little more gracious so people actually want to play you, stupid video game. Who am I kidding? This is like one of the best video games I've ever played. Like, this is definitely the, my favorite Crash game, so... And this is head and shoulders above all the other Crash Bandicoot games. Some of them are fun, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I like the Crash Bandicoot games, but this is an exceptionally good platforming video game. This is amazing. Okay! Alright. I don't care if we get back, as long as we get there. Just gotta watch the shadow. It's the trick. Alright, good. Jeez. There's a voice in the music in the background that kind of just reminds me of Fat Albert for some reason. Hey, that voice. <laughs> Alright. So now we have to climb this wall of traps. Apparently somebody doesn't want us to come up here. Oh, come on! Seriously! Oh my god, worst death ever. Worst death ever. Anyway, I was trying to do that in another voice, but it just didn't come to me. Mm. Must not be meant to be. Mm. I could never do a comic book guy anyway. I, mean, I tried that. I actually practiced that off camera during some of my Simpsons LPs to see if I could get one down. And I uh, couldn't. Alright, there we go. Okay. So, this is the third part of this level. Um, or maybe, actually, it might be the second part. Uh, so we'll get in here, and once we get settled, we will, uh, we'll stop the video. So, uh, this is what happened to Cortex. Look, he's still trying to get the power crystal! Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy yourself. You guys take care. And, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.